Right, ladies and gentlemen, we'll do the press conference for the uh, four hours of Mugello, the first time the ELMS has been here, and I can honestly say that wasn't a boring race from any perspective. Uh, a lot of safety cars, unfortunately, but the actual racing action was fantastic. And for the first time, the number nine Iron Links Proton Orica, Gibson, Jonas Reed, Maceo Capietto, and Matteo Caroli from pole position, so a perfect weekend, guys. The win here in Mugello. Jonas, you started. I think on TV you said this is the best race of your life, your career so far. Do you stand by that? I definitely stand by that. Um, I mean, getting the first win in endurance racing by my family since forever, feels like. So we have a lot of history in the team. We have lots of history in the family with ELMS. And to finally get that uh, first win in ELMS after so many bad luck this year, um, it's just amazing. Like father, like son. I hope so. <laughs> anyway, let's talk about the start. You started on pole, and obviously we had a few problems during that race. How was your stint? Uh, for me, uh, the, the race was good. I mean, it was my first uh, start from pole position ever in endurance racing, so I didn't uh, really know of what to expect, but in the end, I think I, quite, I managed quite well. Um, then the interior pole was just I couldn't really hold him back so I just let him go and uh, focused on my own race and to keep to keep the Pani's car in, in behind and just uh, focus on my own pace and do uh, the best job I, I can. We've talked a lot this weekend about tyre management because it's so hard on tyres here. Was that one of the main reasons you had that in back in mind to make sure your teammates had kept the tyres for later? I mean, actually, I mean, luckily we all get our own set of tyres so I, I just need to manage it for my stint. But definitely um, the track is so demanding on traffic and also on tyres, so it's quite tough to manage both of it. But I think in the end we did it perfectly today, so and that's why we are here and uh, we are the winners. I say, like Jonas, welcome to the Winners' Conference for the first time. Brilliant stint. Um, um, I think you, two, uh, you went into the lead after the set, after the, I can't remember which safety car it was, but you had that great battle with the, with the Algarve Pro Racing. Talk us through your stint. So I got the car in P3 or P4, and then we just went forward. I mean, the car was mega, it was on rails, uh, minimal tire degradation. So I just pushed lap after lap after lap and used the traffic to be able to pass around the cars in front. And then we ended up in the lead after a few laps, and then it was just management from here. Then a few, a few restarts, which were a bit tough, some of them, but I did everything I could in order to keep the lead. and managed to do it. What does this win in the European Le Mans series mean for you? Uh, it's a big win. It's my first big win probably, so I'm very happy. And for the team as well here, you know, the pro team. Uh, let's talk about LMP2 itself. It's a mega class. There's so many good drivers and teams out there. To win is makes it extra special. It definitely does. And because we've been struggling at the start of the year because it was our first season. And then just going forward every race, every weekend, every session, and then coming here and being able to win and actually having the fastest car was an incredible achievement for the whole team. So I'm very proud of all of them and very happy for all of us. Well, Matteo, we've talked to you before in the press conference, but not in an LMP2 press conference. So congratulations on your first LMP2 win in the LMS. Uh, an Italian driver winning at home. Must be great. Yeah, uh, absolutely. I mean, I'm still, I'm still speechless, to be honest, because um, we, we expect we were quick, but probably not that quick. So it's a, it's a fantastic feeling. So it's, as Massimo said, <clears throat> It's really thanks to the team because I mean we, we started the season, let's say in uh, in, uh, in in some um, difficult times uh, was not easy. I mean we had a few DNF, so the mood uh, actually was uh, not the greatest. But I think uh, um, this weekend we shown uh, what we are capable of, and uh, now we are gonna just enjoy it. We go to Portimao next, which is not dissimilar to this track. It's got a lot of elevation changes. I think, what are your thoughts on that track and going there as Well, um, it's more or less the same like in Mugello because um, this is actually the only track where we've been testing here in uh, mid of August. So our preparation was, uh, was definitely better than, than most of the other track. So um, Portimao, we've been testing also last year. So my first time ever trying the LMP2 car, no, actually the second time ever trying the, the LMP2 was in Portimao. So I think we, we are gonna start already with a um, decent baseline. 
and I'm pretty sure uh, now it's after this uh, big boost we will uh, perform even better.